Hi, I'm Brian English, forum name Hyperbytes, and in this module we're going to look at uh, an alternative way of adding images to your um, pages by using the Summer Note component. At the moment, we've been using a straightforward image uploader, and that's great for uploading multiple images. And then what we do on the uh, front end is we can present those images in different ways. Perhaps in one page we may want to offer them as a swiper and another page perhaps a masonry, masonry component and another page perhaps a gallery so we can use that so same images but give your page a completely different look and feel but with summer note we can extend that and we can use this either as an alternative to or in addition to um, this method it allows us to actually embed images within the text itself it also allows us to format up that text in a much better way so what we need to do is if we look at our modal for our straightforward upload I just have, excuse me while I find it there we are we have a description field there and that description um, is where we type any information and there's no ability to be able to format that in any way because uh, it's a straightforward text area. What we're going to do is we're going to use a summer note component to convert that text area into a um, edit, effectively an HTML editor area. Now, because of compatibility issues between Bootstrap 5 and summer note, um, the enable summer note option simply doesn't work. Um, if you're using Bootstrap 4, that should work okay. Um, but it's fairly easy to get round. Um, I'm not going to remove the text area yet. I'm going to just go into our form section. I'm just going to type in summer note. We're going to pick the summer note light text area. What we need to do is clone the information or the sorry the settings that we have within our text area into that. So our name is description. We also need to change the value now there we hit a problem because there is a very long-standing bug report I'm not quite sure whether they're treating it as a bug or not but at the moment you should be able to then go to your dynamic attributes input and you should be able to select the uh, the value of the field that is input into that area but for some reason it's missing from the picker so we need to do that manually and it's, it's actually very easy to do if you click in your code area and this is the reason why I kept my text area we can just take that DMX bind statement there copy that and then we can paste it into that summer note area so basically now we see, you can see from the text, we have a, a text area um, called description, which is a sub DMX summer note area. It has a toolbar. We can adjust that through the uh, user interface, and now it has a value. We need to get rid of that one. I'm actually not going to delete it because I might decide to revert late, and I would just want to show you a little technique here that we uh, can use to um, disable it so we're just going back back so we're going to hide it so it's hi hidden from the UI, UI and we can just put in a zero option a zero there probably should hide it no it doesn't we'll say zero equals one and that should be it hidden and for some reason that's not showing up in the UI Oh, well, I think the word is to hell with it. I'll just delete it. So there we are. We've got our summer note area. If we scroll down, we can see now various options that we have within that. Styling to um, format the selected block, bold, underline. Um, I notice it never puts in italic. So I always have to put that in. Change the font name, foreign background colors. Ability to add tables and also insert images, links, and videos. Then we have a full screen, a code view, and an open help option. So I'm just going to save that. I'm going to run that in its raw format as it is now. 
and there we see we have that we can go in there we see now we have all about our first page and we have those various formatting options there and you see we have the ability to be able to add an image and I just want to do that now so we're going to choose a pay an image I'll just top that Apple image in there and you see we have that as a quick start so what's happened to that image by default with uh, some note that image is actually embedded into the um, form itself or the, the, the text uh, and I believe it'll be you are uh, base 864 encoded um, to be honest can't be certain on that because I've never really bothered looking into it in any great detail but you see it does take a huge amount of space within your um, input and obviously that means space used in your database as well and there's a general adage what I always say is that web server space is cheap database storage is expensive so we don't really want to be storing it in that method and there is a very easy workaround on that so I'm just going to remove that I'm going to delete that image away and I'm going to now go back into Wappler what we can do is we can activate what's called summer note add-ons we've got it here and there we can actually choose a f instead of embedding that um, file in as base 64 encoded we can actually select a file upload action which will upload that um, and serve it save it on the server it also as an aside allows us to do some image management so if people are using ridiculously big images we can just scale that down a little as well so let's go into our API actions page data images right click add API action we call that so note upload and what we're going to do now is we're going to add an action and we do actually have an action here that will do that directly I'm just trying to remember where it is there we are summer load upload image or we have a summer note upload file so that's added the upload for us it's added the inputs which is great um, it's loaded it in it's given us a, a resize option I'm going to scale that right down to 640 we'll give it the ability to upscale in case the image is smaller than that so we don't have an error then we save that image and uh, then it actually has to return the URL back to summer note but I just want to change this at, the, at this path here because uh, what I would like to do is put it in that my uploads area um, and I'm going to just create a new folder and I'm going to call this summer note image so we keep all of those summer note images in the same place save image we're going to save that back to summer note image scaled actually no I'll tell you what we, we'll, over, we'll overwrite the original because we really don't need there's absolutely no point in keeping both so there we are summer note image got the overwrite we should be able to save that now if we go back into our page content our image server action we're going to choose the page data images summer note upload let's save that and now that should allow us to drag an image into there and that image will then be uploaded onto our server and then a link embedded into our page provided everything's gone correctly of course so let's try that again no that's not going to work sorry I did forget one thing now back into our summer note we're going to we've got an image link there and a video link and we actually want to go down and change that to an image upload and if we've done a video one we could add a video upload in there as well my apologies for that so there we go in there we'll pop in there we'll do this we'll pick an image we'll choose a file we'll just have that 
one there there we are see that image has been loaded in you can scale these by the way just manually or um, whatever and if we now look into our file manager I'll just drag that across in a second um, let's just have a look and just make sure that that has been pulled into our correct area uploads some of note image and there we are we, see, we can see there that we have the the image uploaded so that way we saved a lot of storage we've got the image separately stored and if we look now in our code view we can see a much cleaner bit of code we simply see a direct um, link to that that has actually highlighted something that I forgot to do um, let's just go back in that summer note image when we did the same image save image it's forcing it into JPEG I would like that to be an auto because that for instance that image I just uploaded there was a PNG I've then saved it as a JPEG and for the eagle eyed in you you might have noticed that there were actually two images in that directory um, as a result let's have a look in there if we go to public go to uploads go to summer note you'll see there's a two there one is actually a jpeg and one is a png that'll, that'll resolve that problem so there you are there's a very very simple way of doing that we'll uh, <coughs> excuse me take that out of code view just so you can see things in action um, let's just make that bold um, let's uh, underline it as well oh. don't forget it's control enter for new line new line will do new pack uh, there we've got some formatting we want to remove that so we can actually just use a remove font style and then we can format that up in whatever we want let's say we want that to be italic save that and if everything's gone well it's gone then we can actually see there on that screen we can actually see that HTML code and we can get rid of that very very easily now if I go back in the page content we go and close that up. Let's keep scrolling it was in this area if we go into the cell we'll see that it's probably set as HTML text we can do this through the UI but it's just easier just to HTML that means that particular area will be displayed in HTML if I refresh that now it for some reason hasn't changed let's have a look and just see um, yeah cause I've, I've typed it in the wrong place my apologies it should be in the description HTML let's save that do that now it, we will see a bit of an issue here I think um, it's, no, it's done a fairly good job at scaling it but obviously that has now pushed that and what I would tend to do there is if we are going to have the uh, we've actually got that in the wrong place as well um, we've got those a little bit out of sync that's I think we've got an extra header in there haven't we uh, let's have a look let's just take that header out I think when we've been adding those icons in I've just got things a little bit out of sync no actually missing a header completely sorry about this header and header save that say I like making mistakes because you learn a lot from mistakes 
but yeah you'll see that if, if we had a really long page in there that would start to look really scrappy so I would suggest pass, perhaps using the truncate function and only maybe display the first 128 characters or thereabouts we can also use the um, the strip function to be able to remove all the HTML from that as well change that to plain text if we wanted as an alternative but I'm going to do that in a moment I think this is about as far as I wanted to go um, in this particular tutorial we can see that all of the everything with summer note is working perfectly those images are uploading perfectly and I say we can use this alongside our image uploads so we could perhaps have the text with maybe a couple of small images in just to spice it up a little bit and then we could have that gallery or we could have that uh, swipe or whatever underneath or above just to give that page more impact so i hope you enjoyed that um, unit on summer note and uh, i hope to see you in my next module